So are the aliens real? I told you, they don't exist. It's just a cover-up. It's like, right when Russell Brand got demonetized on YouTube, the aliens appeared, and then they stopped talking about both of the occurrences. Exactly. Hello. You don't know me, but you should trust everything I say. Who are you? Yeah, who are you? My name is Qbert Ryder. And I have information that will blow the wig right off of this election. Say what? Come with me. The Billy John Show will not be aired tonight. Instead, we will enjoy the Roy Austin Cowboy Show. Rick, I've had it with you. All their shenanigans. You won't work. You won't commit. I can't stand you. Um, that's crazy because I've actually done a lot for this relationship. And by you saying that, it makes me feel very uncomfortable. I think it'd be better if you got out of my life, TBH. Why am I here? Get out of my car, Randy Slick! Get out of my car, Randy! What's your problem? I hate you, Rick! You've ruined my life! I gave you the best parts of my life! You've ruined my life! Get out of my life! I don't ever want to see you again! Well, maybe I don't ever want to see you either. We're done! I hate you. I hate you too! I don't ever want to see you again. I don't ever want to see you either! All I ever wanted was to have a relationship with you, Rick. I just want us to be together. (laughs) Is it wrong to want to have a relationship with your fifth love? We need to be together! What up? What are you guys doing? Everything's back to normal! I love you, Rick! I love you too, darling. Let's go to Taco Bell! Taco Bell? Seriously? One day later... Vegan pancake? Yes, Rick! I think we should get married. I do! Man, what the f*** this I just helped y'all, like... No! Vegan, I just helped you throw out Rick's clothes and Rick... I just heard you talking s*** about Vegan for like five days. TBH, Billy John, you just don't understand and you don't have to be so brutal. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, but you're the girl for me. Oh, brother, here we go again. Two days later. <laughs> Rick, and you take vegan pancake to be your lawfully wedded wife to have and to hold until death do you part? I do. And vegan pancake, do you take Rick to be your lawfully wedded husband to have and to hold until death and do you part? I do. By the power invested in me by the state of California, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Oh, Rick! Can things be like this forever, baby? You're not really kissing me, so come over here. I'm trying to kiss you. I always cry at weddings. One hour later. I just don't want to be with you anymore, Rick. I think we should get a divorce. How can you say that to me when I've given you everything? Rick, you're a bum-ass loser. You haven't given me anything. And you know what? You've ruined my life, and I need to put you under arrest. No, I can't go back there. Don't try to do that to me. Police! Police, help! Uh. Officer, arrest that man! (laughs) This man! 
Satan is harassing me! All I ever want to do is make you happy. Put your hands behind your back, sir. You're going to jail for a long time. Okay, for a day. No! Don't take me away from vegan pancake! You're going to the slammer for hours, fool. Serves him right. <laughs> well, now that I have nothing to complain about, I can only blame myself. And it seems like things are going really well ever since he left. Hours later. <laughs> I don't got nothing against vegan pancake at all. I think she's a good streamer, by the way. You know, my only problem is with Rick is because he thinks he's an intellectual, but he's not. He's a mephilectual, because all he does is ramble when he talks. Ramble, ramble, ramble about nothing. He ain't talking about, I mean, we all know this, but he ain't never talking about nothing. Gosh darn it, Rick thinks he's so smart, but he's a little <laughs> who's living in the bushes. I mean, that's just the best he can do, though. You know? But he's in big trouble now. Big, big trouble. He went to jail last night. Are you done with your lame-ass story yet, BJ Karen? Yeah, I mean, seriously, man. How long are you going to sit at this bus stop and tell this story about a relationship that's not even yours? It's a free public area, and I can do as I like. You guys, Chokoff got arrested. But he deserved it. You mean for that alleged DWI thing? Yeah. You can't be causing danger to the road like that. Did I ever tell you boys about the time I met Jewel? Yes, BJ Karen. You told us that story about a hundred times. And every single time, it's more fake than the last time. I cannot wait to watch the Billy John Show. Yes, the Billy John Show is very entertaining. Hello, it is Nana. Do you need any food or drink? Nana, I told you to order a pizza. Okay. Your Nana is retarded. Dexy, I love this new Airbnb that you scammed off that dude Peter off the internet. Yeah, that guy's a real dip. This is the fifth Airbnb I've scammed off of this month. It's cool because you're my girlfriend and you scam dudes out of Airbnbs and hotels and then we just sit in them and I sometimes wish the Billy John cartoons were... A little more elaborate. Hey, you didn't happen to dox the house or anything or the Airbnb we were staying at when you were alive, did you? Choke off! What are you trying to say? That I'm an idiot that just doxes Airbnbs? Why, that's not at all what I was trying to say, sugar plum dumpling. Well, what are you trying to say? And why is it daytime already outside? This background's weird. I just don't want this guy to find us, okay? Don't worry, he won't. Then who the f that? Hey, Dexy, it's Peter, your online boyfriend. I've been paying for Airbnbs for like five months, girl. You haven't even put out any poo things. Holy shit, you're even uglier in person. Girl, I'm the best thing that you've never had. Take my hand, girl. You promised me we would hook up. I've been buying Airbnbs and hotels for like six months. Ah, uh, yeah, right away. Let me fresh it up. Oh, God, I knew this was going to happen. Choke off. Get rid of him. This beanbag is very comfortable, and I did not want to get out of it. Hey, it's really nice that... Dexy's letting her grandpapa stay here or whatever, but man, you gotta scoot over because we're about to get busy, homie. Listen here, S.A. You're about to get maxed out. <laughs> you in what army? Defend my honor and pride. 
I'm gonna tell you what, old man. I didn't just give a year's worth of salary and my freaking car wash job for this woman to be housed all f year to her 21st birthday. You know what I mean? I gotta give me some, homie. So you gotta slide by. I will squash you like a bug. It's raining. Let's dance. Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Put up your dukes, old man. Put me down, old man. I warned you. Hasta luego. I've never had anyone defend my honor in such a way. We should get married. Okay. Okay. Hey, I don't know what just happened. Doctor, I don't feel right. Nurse, I just don't understand. I keep giving the patients medicine for years now, and they never get better. Oh dear, looks like there will have to be billions put into more medicine, just in case it will help. I just can't keep living in a world where this keeps on happening and medicines don't work. Dumpy, I love you so much. For father, no one can know we're together. They'll have no idea. Oh, for father, we're just two puppets in a rat race game. I have an IQ of 50. And actually, I'm a clone. The real version of me was taken out decades ago. Hi for Hoof and Hayden. All hail Burger King. I did not hear you come in, Hoofin. The coast is clear. I was just trying to make sure you are done taking your royal blessings. I will be on my way now. Meet me later, Fafala. I'm going to make sweet love to you. I can't wait! I love turtles and ice cream! Oh, baby cake. If anyone ever is so weird working together with that country over that other feel really stupid. My love, you are too coy. They still never figure that out. Go have a building to sign for now. Okay, well I'm gonna go do whatever I do. Sir, we must stick to the plan. She knows too much. We have to get rid of her. I cannot tell you how much we need her right now because of what's going on at the border. Sir, you know there is no border, and this is all a simulation. What? I said this is all a simulation. You said you want to go on vacation? No, sir. I said this is a simulation. We live in a nation. No, a simulation, not a nation. What are we talking about here? Have you ever heard of a brain interface device? I think you've brought up quite enough. Hey, Ber hyphen. I do not know what's going on right now. Uh. I thought you had to go do that thing that you do. We are not living in a simulation. This is all real. You're talking about a sci-fi movie. You can drop the fake accent, Hoofin. Or should I say, Pasquale? Ah. Huh? Uh. So you knew it was me the whole time. Well, what is your next move, Bosse? Remember, I'm a clone of Ronald Dump, see? So I don't really know what's going on. My brain is deteriorating. I like cookies and marbles! Well, I better get out of here! What the heck was that about? Listen to me closely! Sir, you do not have much time left. Your brain will degrade because you are that of a clone. It's already begun. I feel fine. Uh, I don't feel so good. What is happening? Sir, your brain is degraded. We must make a new one of you. Is every single president that's ever been a clone? Of another guy after they got rid of him? As a matter of fact, they are. <laughs> I'm gonna make a run for it. 
You have nowhere to run. Ready. You will not escape me. Fight. No! What did you do with him? We disposed of him. But don't worry. We'll make another one. Take my hand, Fafala. Our cloning business will go great! Yes, it will. It will start doing it on the other parts of the map that don't exist. <laughs> Randy? What store do you want to go to? <laughs> take me to the liquor store. And then take me to Mexico. But Andy, you're supposed to meet up with Polly Shore. What will Adam think? I don't give a sh- what Adam thinks. Man, why every single time I come on a car ride, some crazy ass drama happens out of nowhere? Like Dexy having to go to the hospital and stuff? Why am I hanging out with Man, that ain't funny. Why are you always talking like that, Randy Flick? <laughs> you remember it. But Andy, you have to go to the tour! Man, I'm your homeboy, dog. What you talking about? I feel like we need to just say, let's drive you to detox. I'm not going to detox. Hey, man, I'll still go on the tour with you, whether you do or don't. Tour canceled. Well, that's quite reassuring. Man, Biggie almost just hit a freaking cat. Well, at least I'm not gonna get a DWI like Blackout Andy. I can't believe it's his third one in a row. I hold on to this car for as long as I have to. And if you don't, donate to me. You're a piece of sh- Game over.